hello everyone i want to thank you so much for coming back to my channel today if today's your first time i do want to welcome you on today's episode we'll be making buff root some people call it buff loaf others call it puff puff everyone has their own way of calling it but this is the recipe i'll be making today i'll quickly go through the ingredients which i'll be using here i have four cups of all-purpose flour I have one and a half cups of sugar. In this container, I have water, warm water, which I'll be using for the mixture. I have a teaspoon of salt. And then I have a tablespoon of yeast. And this is the bowl, which I'll be mixing the buff loaf in there. So please stay tuned, and I'm going to take it step by step. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions, you may leave it down below for me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, I want to thank you so much for coming by today. Thanks and, and God bless you. Till next time, bye-bye. So the first thing we need to do is to pour our warm water inside the bowl, the mixture which we'll be using to mix the buff loaf. Stick your finger inside the warm water. If you have the urge to stick it out, then it means it's too, too hot and it's going to kill the yeast. But if you stick it in there and you can play or do a little wiggly effect in the water, it means it's warm enough and it's not going to kill your yeast, okay? You don't want to kill your yeast, otherwise it will not rise, the book flow will not rise. Okay, so I'm going to pour in my yeast to activate it. And I'm going to pour in my sugar. And then finally the salt. So I'm just going to give it a stir, make sure that it has all mixed together. The next thing I'm going to do is to start mixing the all-purpose flour in there. So please keep watching. And then just watch what I'm doing. There is a consistency that you are looking for. You don't want the buff loaf to be too, too loose or too, too thick. You want it to be in between. If it's too loose and rises, it will be very difficult for you to fry. If it's too thick and you fry it, it will not cook from the inside. So you want it to be in between. Here, it looks like my buff loaf is too loose, so I'm going to need to add a little bit more of the all-purpose flour. So please stay tuned whilst I add a couple more of the all-purpose flour. Okay, so I'm back. So I'm going to add one more cup of flour and mix it. Right now, I just want to get the consistency which I'm looking for. I'm not there yet. I'm going to add another cup of flour. Okay, so I ended up using about six and a half cups of all-purpose flour for this recipe. Now I'm going to show you how I beat the buff loaf. Now this is the consistency that I'm looking for. It's not too, too thick and it's not too loose. Okay, so this is how you beat it. If you are doing this for the first time, it takes time getting used to. Okay, like that. Okay. This helps for it to completely loosen up and also it, helps to, it also helps it to rise very quickly. 
instead of maybe 30 to 40 minutes it can take about 20 to maybe 50 minutes for it to rise so i like to do this whenever i'm making my book look Hi everyone, so we're going to check to see whether our buff loaf has risen. Oh, it looks like it has. Okay, so I guess we can start frying. So I'm going to show you the things I'm going to need for the frying process. I'm going to need this scooping, um, I guess, spoon to scoop the buff loaf from the oil. I'll need this skewer to maneuver the buff loaf whilst it's frying. Of course, you need this, the strainer. And then I'm going to use this corn oil and the frying um, saucepan. So let's go ahead and pour the oil inside the saucepan and then start the frying. This is going to be a deep frying, so you need lots of oil for this. I guess we have enough oil. You can always add more if you need it. Okay, so before we start frying, the first thing we want to do is to test to see whether the oil is hot enough for frying. So I have a little bit of the buff loaf. Okay, it's sizzling. So I guess we can start with the frying process. Okay. Okay, so if you are first time on making buff loaf for the first time, there are two ways to scoop in the butter from the container to the oil. I'm going to show you how first time you should go about and then if you become a pro how you should go about it. For first time you can just scoop the buff loaf butter like that by beating it a little bit to gather it in the palm of your hand like that. Okay. All right. This is for those that are pros who have been doing this for a while or if you fry both loaf for some time you're gonna get used to you know doing this process rolling it in the palm of your hand so this is one way and then you drop it down the oil another way is you can just beat it like this and I would suggest that if you're a first time I try this process first so you don't become frustrated with the butter scooping process, okay? So you beat it up a little bit like this, scoop it, and then just drop it in there like that. I'm going to teach you one last time. You beat it up like this, beating it up like this, scoop it, and then drop it in the oil. Okay, so with the frying process, see how the bottom of it has turned golden brown it's time to flip it over buff loaf is really really delicious when you have it for breakfast for brunch or just as a simple snack normally it goes well with house that cocoa or maybe just a simple coffee or um, chocolate mix um, beverage. So we're going to allow the other side to get golden brown like this side. And then we are ready to scoop it out of the oil. Hello everyone, so our buff loaf is ready. I do want to thank you so much for staying tuned and watching the buff loaf making process. Um, if you have any, any questions or any comments, 
please drop it down below for me and i'll get back to you as soon as possible also let me know the next recipe you like me to make i really appreciate your time i love you all very much please subscribe to my channel until next time stay blessed and thank you so much for coming by today